Hey everyone, Dave K here at the Chocolate Emporium. They've got some milkshakes which look amazing. Let's see what we go for here today. And there was no wait at the Toothsome Chocolate Emporium here. So here I am. Check out my view from up here. I'm actually on the upper level. You can see the chocolate process being made over there. Looks like that robot is doing some chocolatey stuff. Really, really cool. Lots of Christmas trees and other decorations for the holidays. And I was told I could either take the slower seat or sit by the bar. Figured this would be a good seat, especially for vlogging as well. So let's see how it goes, but super excited for it. Menu looks awesome. And here is that menu complete with this story, background story about the restaurant. Really, really cool to see and to hear. You've got some libations here, some beverages there, wines and different drinks here. But also I'm really excited for, I'm probably gonna grab a milkshake there's a bunch of different types of appetizers here. Look at the nachos. We got some chicken wings. We'll have to see how that goes. Soup, salads, flatbreads. But I'm thinking I'm probably gonna go here in a minute for the sandwiches or the burgers. Here's sandwiches and burgers. We'll see which ones look good here, but there's quite a variety of great options, entrees and pastas as well. It all looks so, so good. And check out the milkshakes here as well. Jacques Specialty Milkshakes. I've seen these downstairs, I've seen people grab them. They are fairly expensive for milkshakes, as much as one of those burgers. But you know what? I feel like they're so special, it's probably worth it just to enjoy one, see how they are, see if they're worthwhile. And that way I'll be able to let you know if you should go ahead and grab yourself a milkshake in the future. Some awesome recommendations here today. I heard in terms of milkshake, Sounds like the cookie jar is the winner, but there's so many good options there. I'm looking at the confetti shake as well. Uh, so many good ones. Key lime pies there, chocolate times five. You just, you can't lose with all the milkshake options. And in terms of the meal, I had a couple different recommendations, one for the sandwich and one for the burgers, which was really the two I was looking at, which is that Southern fried chicken BLT and that may contain bacon. So we'll have to see which one of those I go for. Both of them sound really good. Pineapple in this one with a bacon, and then you've got Obviously a fried chicken in the uh, BLT, so let's see what sounds good here, but both of them sound really good. I'm also wondering if I showed you the front of this menu. Really, really cool to see. Look at that red. It looks like a very important book there with that beautiful trim, almost like an around the world in 80 days vibe to it. I know this restaurant has its own theme, but it's really nicely done, really sort of fancy formal binder there with all of the dining options. But at the same time, it's very relaxed and comfortable throughout the dining hall. You can see nobody's dressed up too formally. It's got a great vibe to it. And would you look at this? You can see the characters of the story over here moving. Looks like maybe they're gonna go around to some tables. I'm not 100% sure. We're just walking from the back to another area in the back. But you've got the robot and the girl there. I, I forgot to read that story while I had the menu. Maybe I'll see if I can get the menu back or maybe I'll read it downstairs later because they do have menus sort of by where you check in. But uh, it apparently has a whole own story. It's supposed to be super cool, which I have to read into. It's really cool. They have those characters you can meet as well. And just again, looking at that theming, look at some of these benches where you can sit. It's absolutely fantastic. And look at those shakes over there as well. I don't know if you can see the shakes that he's holding. You've got like full cookies or full pieces of cake, that sort of thing on those milkshakes, which look so, so good. So I really want to give those a shot. I am going to be going for the cookie jar. It was a recommendation. I think I'm going to do the cookie jar milkshake. And I'm really excited for it, you know? that's a place that seems like it's really well known by people. I've actually seen people wearing the merchandise from this place, but I guess it's not known for its chocolate, maybe just for its food or for those milkshakes. So I will let you know how those taste, but I am very excited for it. Drooling already. And I did indeed go for that may contain bacon burger here. Look at all that different type of meat in there. Looks fantastic. Got some cheese on there as well. It looks really, really good. It sounded good as well. I think that's pepper jack. And again, all kinds of cheese are all kinds of meat in there. You got this pretzel bun on there. It looks really nice. And of course, these fries. I had a choice of fries or kettle chips, so I went for the fries here. You can see, whoops, took off my hat. And just sitting here, ready to try this burger. It's a pretty good size. You can see my hand there, kind of cupped over it. Probably about the size of my palm, I want to say. It's probably about the same size. So it's a good size burger. Let's see how it tastes. So I had my first fry here, and it was pretty good. Let me try a more full fry here, because that one was sort of thin. It is a very good fry. Definitely like the flavors. Fairly traditional fry, you know, French fry. Can't go too crazy with those, but I like it. And now for the piece de resistance here. Look at that burger. 
let's give this one a shot. That is a really good burger with some really unique flavors. Definitely a strong pretzel bun flavor to it. A lot of meat in there, as you can tell, a lot of different meat flavors. I'm gonna try putting a little bit more of that pineapple chutney, which fell off back onto the burger. But I really do like it, it's got some great flavors. And I, I didn't feel like it was that expensive. I know some people have mentioned to me, it's a little bit more expensive here than other restaurants, but it really depends what you get. I think the burgers are pretty reasonable. So I picked up a couple of the pieces of pineapple chutney that fell off the burger onto the plate and I feel like they should add more pineapple chutney overall to this burger because that was delicious and it really goes with the flavor you know the meat the pineapple and the pretzel really all go well together I think it is a very good burger it's not the number one burger I've ever had but it's definitely one I could see myself getting again I want to give this one maybe an eight or an eight and a half here it, it's good it is very good and there's a different flavor throughout the burger as well it's a little bit darker almost more charred a little bit I had over there which is still a great flavor as well it's really mesmerizing to sit here and look at the chocolate production. It's almost like watching a fish tank or something along those lines. You get so easily distracted by it. It's so relaxing. I feel like it's a great way to kind of relax and enjoy your meal. And they have the same production going on on both this floor and downstairs. So I think that's really smart. Have that kind of go in the background. Nice relaxing thing to look at while you're eating. Provides a great view. I like it. And here is that cookie jar milkshake. Wow, look at that. Full size cookie on the top. All that whipped cream overflowing from the brim looks absolutely amazing. So looking forward to trying this one. Let's see how it goes. Chocolate shake, here we go. Or a cookie shake. Cookie shake, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. It did start to kind of cave in. That cookie started to cave in when I started drinking from it. But ooh, that tastes really, really good. I can see why people like those shakes. They have a quick serve for shakes downstairs. That makes a lot of sense. I can see why you would do that. Nice shake. Let me try a little bit of this fry, get some of this whipped cream on here. That is such a unique flavored shake. It's got a cookie flavor to it, but I feel like there's a good chunk of kind of nutmeg in there. Kind of a nutty, not, not nutty, but nut essence, essence of nut. You know, and again, I think nutmeg is a good kind of example for what I'm thinking of in terms of that flavor. A strong kind of nutmeggy flavor. I think there's supposed to be some Oreo in there as well, but it's definitely very unique. You know, the whipped cream on the fries is starting to grow on me here. It's got some good flavor mixing that sweet with that savory. It makes for a pretty good flavor. And the cookie is out. Look at that. It looks delicious. Nice, thick, hearty cookie over there. I'm gonna set it to the side so it doesn't fall in or fall out while I'm trying to drink the rest of the shake. And look at the impression that that cookie made in there. Wow, deep in the whipped cream there. I didn't realize the whipped cream went that high. That's super cool. I'm trying to prevent the whipped cream from falling off the side of the cup. It seems like it's, it's might, you know, it seems like it's kind of shaky when I drink from it. So I'm trying to use the fries to push it back in there and also eat some whipped cream. So I was told by my server, this is actually a souvenir plastic cup here at the Chocolate Emporium. That's awesome. Had no idea. It's a hard plastic, not recommended for machine washing, but that's a kind of a souvenir that comes with that milkshake. So it makes a little bit more sense for that price, but very, very cool. And the flavors are absolutely fantastic. Love that milkshake. Absolutely delicious. Also took some more time here to read the story of Professor Dr. Penelope Tobo Tinker Toothsome over here and Jacques, which I believe is that robot, kind of how she was looking for her family and that's how she developed the Chocolate Emporium. Really, really cool story here to check out, kind of the backstory of the restaurant. Apparently, it's just kind of its own, again, freestanding story. This is not associated with anything else, but a really cool concept for why she developed the Chocolate Emporium in search of her family and that she loves chocolate she wanted to share with the world so I like it it's a great story for a restaurant it really is amazing to see all the details in this one you see that robot in the story Jacques there I believe that's who that is he'll kind of receive some trays of chocolate bring them to the back you'll see a dirigible move across so I imagine this is kind of the development process shipping and all those different components really cool process of making chocolate here so this is a really good cookie as well. It's got a lot of those same flavors. I feel like this one's a little bit more mild than the nutmeg that I taste in there, but it's a great cookie. Very smooth, well done, baked perfectly. I like it. That being said, if I'm choosing between the two, it's definitely the milkshake for me. The cookie's great, but the cookie's kind of a supplement where that milkshake is really the main event. Just in case you're wondering, is it worth it for me to get the cookie milkshake for the cookie? I would keep trying all the milkshakes. I'm gonna try all the milkshakes because the flavor in that is so, so good. I'm surprised with how full I am here as well. A lot of food here between that burger and that shake. And maybe it's just because I ate a couple of hours ago, maybe like four or so hours ago, at the Tater Tots, the Green Eggs and Ham. But 
It seems like a lot of food here. I might end up taking the rest of this milkshake on the road. It was a great time at the Chocolate Emporium. Got a gift bag for my shake here as well once I finish that for the souvenir cup. But really, really great shake. I think I reviewed the burger, but not the shake. I want to give this like a nine. Really, really good. Excited to try some other flavors next time, but this one is definitely a winner. And it's definitely my favorite dining venue in City Walk so far as well. I've tried a couple of different ones. Still a lot more to try, but really, really good stuff at the Chocolate Emporium. So I ran back in the park with my shake here to go ahead and catch some of those nighttime photos up there at Bilge Ratch Bar. Just, just get a photo, some night shots, maybe something I can use in the background of some videos, maybe, or background of some pics, some streams, something like that. We'll have to see, so keep my eyes open for that one. I went ahead and took those pictures, and the milkshake's pretty easy to take on the go. You know, I actually have a bag, which I got from the gift shop, for to-go milkshake, too, so I can put it in the bag once I've finished the shake itself. So glad I've got that here as well, to be able to take the cup, seeing as it's a nice little souvenir to have. Thanks so much for being a part of the fun with me today. If you haven't already, for more fun adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed. And until next time, play on. You know, the whipped cream, <clears throat> You know the whipped cream from the fries. So this is a so this is a really good cookie as well. It's got some great 